Is my dog sick? It's a question no canine owner wants to worry about, but it happens to the best of us. You can wrap your dog up in cotton wool, feed them all the right food, and ensure they get adequate play and sleep, but they can still get unwell. As a loving pet parent, it's important to be on the lookout for potential symptoms and warning signs that your dog might not be feeling their best. Knowing and understanding these early indicators can help you seek veterinarian advice quickly if necessary, ensuring that any urgent health issues are dealt with as soon as possible. In this video, we'll go over 18 warning signs that your dog might be sick so you can get them the help they need before it's too late. Let us know if you've ever noticed any of these signs in your dog. Comment down below. Especially numbers 14 and 15 are signs you need to take seriously. Before we start, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button to see more videos like this. We also want to offer you a free digital copy of our Happy Dog Handbook, the essential guide for dog owners. This handbook helps to provide dogs with everything they need to live the healthiest and happiest life possible. Click the first link in the description to get your copy. So let's start with the warning signs you need to know. Sign number one, bad breath. This can mean anything from an upset stomach or poor oral hygiene to serious dental issues such as abscesses, fractured teeth, infection, or periodontal disease. Many of these ailments can cause other health issues if they're not addressed early on, and all of them will benefit from the further investigation with your vet. By brushing your dog's teeth regularly, feeding them an appropriate diet, as well as bringing them in for regular vet checkups, these issues can easily be avoided and managed if they do arise. Plus, your canine companion will have minty fresh breath that both you and your furry friends can enjoy. Sign number two, lethargy or extreme energy. If you've ever noticed your pup looking sluggish or overly energetic, it could be a warning sign that something is off with their health. Lethargy in dogs can be caused by anything from chronic health conditions to serious illnesses and injuries. Likewise, excessively high energy can be an indicator of underlying diseases, such as Cushing's disease or hypothyroidism. It's important to pay attention to changes in your pet's behavior and contact your vet if you notice an excessive increase or decrease in activity level. Sign number three, vomiting or diarrhea. If your beloved companion is suffering from either of these symptoms, it's critical to take them to the veterinarian as soon as possible for an examination and diagnosis. Also, pay attention to their eating and drinking habits. In addition to changes in energy levels, these can all provide vital clues about any possible underlying health issue. Sign number four, loss of appetite. An unexplained loss of appetite is often an indicator that the animal might be sick and in need of medical attention. It could be due to problems such as dietary issues, injury, internal parasites, serious illnesses, or metabolic imbalances. If your pet shows signs of reduced appetite and eats less than usual for more than one day, it is best to seek professional vet help to determine the cause and identify the appropriate treatment plan. Sign number five, changes in behavior. Noticing changes in your dog's behavior is one of the earliest indicators of sickness. Pay attention to any sudden and drastic shifts, such as a lack of energy, depression, or a change in appetite. Remember that animals are very good at hiding their pain. It's part of their survival instinct. So look out for less obvious signs, such as excessive yawning or licking. If you believe your pet is exhibiting strange behaviors for no apparent reason, it might be time to take them to the vet for screening. After all, catching an illness early could make the difference between life and death, so it's important to keep tabs on their health. Sign number six, excessive drinking. Excessive drinking is often considered an early warning sign that something might be wrong with your pup. Dogs who are feeling ill or in pain may drink so much water that they become unquenchably thirsty causing them to drink to the point where they just can't seem to get hydrated. If you notice your pet drinking excessively, it's best to consult with a veterinarian as soon as possible so that any health issues can be identified and treated appropriately. Sign number seven, increase or decrease in urination. If your pup is starting to have more frequent or conversely fewer bathroom breaks than normal, it could be a sign that something isn't quite right. An unexpected change in urination can often serve as an indicator of underlying health issues, from mild occurrences like UTIs to more serious health threats such as cancer. Contact your vet and don't wait for a regularly scheduled appointment. Even if the changes seem minor and harmless, it's always wise to get them checked out as soon as possible for peace of mind. 
Sign number eight, hair loss, itchy skin. If your dog has been scratching and itching its skin more often than usual, or if it has been seemingly losing fur on certain areas of its body without any other visible signs of injury, that might be a warning sign that your pup is not feeling well. Hair loss or itchy skin can indicate various types of ailments in dogs, from allergies to fungal and bacterial infections. It is advisable to keep an eye on your pet's health and seek medical advice from your vet whenever you notice signs such as these. Sign number nine, unexplained weight loss, weight gain. Unexplained weight loss or weight gain in a dog can be a warning sign that something is wrong with their health. Pet owners should pay close attention to any sudden changes in their pet's weight as it could be a symptom of an underlying medical issue. Disorders like cancer, diabetes, and thyroid issues can cause abnormalities in appetite, leading to noticeable differences in the dog's weight. Pet owners should take steps to ensure that their pet maintains a healthy, stable lifestyle so they can monitor any changes in their eating habits and activity level. Sign number 10, coughing, sneezing, and other respiratory problems. Keeping a watchful eye on any changes in your pup's normal behavior is essential to helping them stay healthy. One of the most common signs that something may be wrong with your furry friend is coughing, sneezing, and or other respiratory problems. Since these signs can be associated with more mild issues such as allergies or kennel cough, it's always wise to take your pup to a vet if you are concerned. Sign number 11, overeating. Overeating in a dog can be an indication that it is in poor health. Generally, dogs regulate their own food intake pretty strictly and do not need to be served large portions. If your pooch suddenly seems to want more than its normal serving size, it may be due to a medical issue. Common causes of overeating in dogs include stress, thyroid problems, diabetes, or digestive issues such as gastritis or intestinal parasites. If your pup is overeating and you are unsure why, take them to the vet. They will be able to assess any underlying health concerns and get your pet back on track. Sign number 12, lack of social interaction. Dogs are social creatures. So when they interact less than usual with humans or other animals, it could be a sign of potential illness. Although a less social behavior could occasionally be chalked up to age or personality change, if any type of physical symptoms appears in unison, then it may be indicative of a greater health concern. If your dog is avoiding interaction more often than normal for their particular breed, it's wise to pay a visit to the vet for a thorough checkup. Sign number 13, pawing at the mouth, drooling excessively, and having difficulty swallowing. If you observe your beloved pup displaying any of these symptoms, pawing at their mouth, drooling excessively, or having difficulty swallowing, then they may be in distress and could be unwell. If your dog is exhibiting any of these signs, even if it's just mildly, you should contact the vet with urgency. With the right care, assistance, and expert advice, your furry friend can make a full recovery. Sign number 14, seizures and tremors. Seizures and tremors in your dog can be frightening to witness, but they may be warning signs that your pup is not feeling well. If your furry friend does have a seizure or starts trembling, it's important to recognize this as a sign of illness and take them to the vet for further examination. Seizures can be caused by several factors, from genetic conditions and neurological issues to poisoning or infections. Tremors can indicate an issue with the musculoskeletal system or liver problems. Sign number 15, bleeding from any part of the body. Owners should be aware of bleeding from any part of their dog's body, as it is often a warning sign that their pet may be unwell. It's important not to ignore such signs and get medical attention for your pup as soon as possible to help them overcome their illness. It's also a good idea to keep a close eye on your dog for any further signs, such as lethargy or loss of appetite. These can indicate underlying health conditions that should be addressed by a vet immediately. Remember, taking an active role in monitoring for warning signs can make all the difference in keeping your pup safe, healthy, and happy. Sign number 16, trouble walking or climbing stairs. Trouble with walking or climbing stairs is an indication that something isn't quite right with your pup. Whether it's increased difficulty in rising, striving to climb a flight of stairs unsuccessfully, or difficulty walking without limping, these sudden changes in your dog's normal behavior should not be ignored. Issues like arthritis and decreased muscle strength can be major factors leading to trouble walking and climbing stairs.
While some of these cases require a visit to the vet for diagnosis and treatment, other things such as dietary supplements or exercises may help. Therefore, if you notice even slight changes in your beloved dog's locomotion, consulting with a veterinarian is essential to ensure proper care for their health needs. Sign number 17, dry, red, or cloudy eyes. If your pooch's eyes appear dry, red, or cloudy, it may be a sign of an underlying health issue. This eye condition can be due to allergies, bacterial or viral infections, corneal ulcers, distemper, glaucoma, sores from rubbing at itchy skin, or even blindness caused by head trauma. Though most cases are not very serious and can be treated quickly with an anti-inflammatory medication prescribed by your vet, it's always best to get your pup seen as soon as possible to ensure a speedy recovery and optimal health for the years ahead. Sign number 18, pale gums. Pale gums on a dog can be an alarming sign that it may be unwell. While it is not always indicative of a serious illness, it is important to make a note of the color change since many illnesses in dogs can first become apparent through visible indications like this. Furthermore, if your dog appears to have pale gums during times that its mouth should look healthy, such as after eating or drinking or during periods of rest, there is concern for some concern. If you observe pale gums on your pet and other common health symptoms are not present, you should consult with your veterinarian to diagnose the problem and proceed accordingly with the prescribed treatment. Now, we're at the end of this video. If you got value from this video, you'll also like the next one. Thanks for spending time with us.